Alright guys, Fondoris here, and today I'm just going to talk about my team that I think I'm going to pick for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The game comes out really soon, so I thought it would be kind of nice to kind of think about what team I'm going to use for the new Pokemon game. And since it's the new generation of Pokemon, I want to make my team pretty much all new Pokemon. So starting off with the starter Pokemon, there's Quaxley, Fuecoco, and Sprigatito. I'm either going to pick Fuecoco or Sprigatito, depending on their second and third evolution stages. I'm kind of leaning more towards Foy Coco, but I do like Sprigatito a lot. Usually I pick the water type for my starter, which I guess in this case is nice, because I don't really like the look of Quaxley. I don't like the first evolution, but maybe his final stage is going to look really cool, so maybe I'll change my mind on that. But probably Foy Coco is what I'm going with. In this game, we're actually going to get access to the legendary Pokemon like early on in the game, which I thought at first was kind of weird, but somebody made a point in my last video about how it's kind of cool that we actually get to use the legendary Pokemon, because usually... We get the legendaries at the end of the game and nobody uses them because we already beat the game. So it's like, what's the purpose? So for that reason, I think it's kind of cool that we're going to get to see these Pokemon early on. And I'm probably going to go with Meridon or Meridon. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I just like the look and colors of that Pokemon over Coridon. I'm definitely not pronouncing these names right, but probably going to go with Meridon. Number three on my roster is probably going to be Bellybolt. He just looks so cool. He's just such like a meme looking Pokemon. He's an avocado that looks like a frog type of thing. He looks really cool in my opinion. Like really weird, but that he's cool, if that makes sense. Who knows what he will look like if he has a second or third evolution. He might not, but I think he will. He kind of looks like a baby in this one, so I'm assuming his third evolution will look really cool. Number four, I'm definitely going to go with Cyriledge or Cyriledge. Definitely probably the coolest Pokemon we've seen so far in this generation. Looks really neat. I definitely like him a lot more than Armoru. I'm just not too much of a fan of Armoru's color scheme, like the orange, yellow, reddish. I don't really like the cannon on his arm either. I think Surledge is just cooler colors, and I think the swords are way cooler than the cannons in my opinion. Now for the fifth Pokemon on my team, I kind of am in between Sea Titan and Sizzlazar. I like the look of Satayan, he looks a lot like Kyogre to me, like he gives me the same type of vibe as Kyogre. I know he doesn't look like it at all, but to me it just kind of reminds me of that Pokemon, which I really like Kyogre a lot. And Sislazar looks cool, but I don't know how I feel about the wheel on his neck, because I think you can also use him as like a motorcycle, and I feel like Sislazar is not going to have an evolution stage, and I like evolving my Pokemon, I think it's kind of fun. Satayan might not have an evolution either, but I'm probably going to go with Sislazar. It's always nice to have like a dragon type Pokemon on your team, and Sizzlazar is pretty cool too. I like the colors a lot, I like the dark green with black. I think he's really cool. He kind of reminds me of like Axew for some reason, so I'll probably end up going with Sizzlazar. I'm looking at this forum page right now too, and Sizzlazar has a really cool move. I'll put a picture on the screen right here. It's a called Shed Tail, and it's like a decoy that he places down. It looks really cool. It's like a baby dinosaur. So, I mean, that's a really neat and interesting move. So, I think that's going to be a pretty big uh, bonus point for Sizzlazar. For number six, I think I'm going to go with Greybird or Gravard. He's a ghost dog Pokemon. He looks really cool, actually. He was just recently announced. And actually, as of today, as I'm recording this, we got the new Pokemon, the coin Pokemon. I can't remember the name, but I, I don't really like him too much. I think he's kind of neat, but I don't really like the idea that he hides in the treasure chest too much. So, I'm probably not going to pick him. But yeah, Gravard looks really cool. I like the look of him. I'm hoping that he has an evolution, but he looks like an overall, like a chill dude, like a chill guy, a chill dog to hang out with. So for that, I'm going to go with him. And also it's a ghost type Pokemon. So it's always nice to have a ghost type on your Pokemon team. And I just really like the design of him. Like it's not too weird and it's not too, too out there, but it looks really good in my opinion. Alright, well that's my team that I'm going to probably end up going with. Who knows, I might switch Pokemon around as we get some new announcements of new Pokemon. We still definitely have a lot to see from this game. They've only announced like 20-ish Pokemon, but as of right now, that's the current team. Maybe I'll make a new video, a part 2, when the game is closer to being released. We still got like 12-ish days, so still got some time. But leave a comment down below guys, I'd love to hear what your team will be or what Pokemon you really want on your team. Definitely like to hear guys' thoughts about everything. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below guys. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace.